okie dokie guys so i am reporting to you live from ventura california um i guess on the the border of ventura and oxnard over at mcgrath state beach and i have chosen this as my field site visit location because it provides critical habitat for several endangered species and i figured that this would be a great way to kind of exemplify some of the um, coastal management challenges that we've talked about because there's various stakes involved. Um, so I'm on the overpass right now. I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Santa Clara River, um, which is the watershed that um, drains and uh, when it is breached at the beach right here provides um, that essential migratory corridor for um, steelhead trout actually, which is one of our um, federally and state listed endangered species. I just drove down the road a little bit. I'm over at Surfers Knoll. If you're familiar with that area, it's in the Ventura Harbor. Um, and I figured I'd come down to the beach for a second just to give you additional perspective. Um, as soon as I walked up, I'm quickly greeted with a few signs here. We'll um, walk on over and check these out. Um, that just have uh, reminders of some of the listed species that inhabit um, this ecosystem. And what do you know? Right over here, and you can kind of see the, the various agencies that are involved in overseeing and managing um, these species. Okay, so after a nice walk down the beach, we've finally reached the mouth of the estuary, and this is where the magic happens. If you look um, further upstream here, where is it? There we go. Um, that's the overpass that um, I first arrived at and kind of gave you like an aerial overview uh, of the Santa Clara River into the estuary, if you will. And I have seen this habitat or the estuary uh, breached before. It's pretty spectacular, but just giving you a quick tour, there's really no way for me to um, capture how remarkable this journey really is for Southern California. Okay, so I am no species expert when it comes to Southern California steelhead trout, but I remembered when I picked this topic and actually went over to the estuary that I have had the opportunity to participate in some really cool kind of ongoing projects and studies about resident rainbow trout populations and um, steelhead trout. So um, in the photo above, this is actually an old work photo that I have um, working with some of our consultants who were licensed um, by federal and state agencies um, to handle um, smolts and um, resident rainbow trout. Um, so this is a fish undergoing smoltification and smoltification is essentially a really complicated process, but it is a physiological change um, where these young fish adapt and evolve from living in freshwater um, to the ocean. So I thought this was a really cool picture to add in here um, just to give a great like visual example of, of this process. Um, just one of the complications of management while we're on actually the slide um, that could, you could infer why this would be um, challenging is that um, resident rainbow trout um, and steelhead trout are um, I guess I would say uh, the same species, um, but they have different lifestyles. So resident rainbow trout are not um, protected under the Endangered Species Act. 
Um, but Southern California still had trout R, and that is only at a um, particular stage um, in their life cycle. So like I said, you can probably assume why this would make um, managing this species really complicated. Um, and yeah. Okay, so transitioning here a bit and evaluating Southern California steelhead trout as an endangered species, almost as like a case study to look at coastal management challenges in a broader context. I can kind of think of several examples that we've discussed in class, but I think maybe one of the most um, intense and most challenging ones is institutional ineffectiveness. So there are various agencies and small and local government sectors that are invested in the species and in addition to that um, invested in the habitat and I think one of the best ways to kind of think about this is that all these parties have conflicting interests Um, in addition to institutional ineffectiveness I also think that pollution is a significant issue throughout the Santa Clara because we're a pretty heavily agricultural dominated area or region um, in California. On top of that, during my experience in my field site visit, I was reminded of the issue of um, houseless encampments along the Santa Clara, which are an additional threat to the sensitive species and a very um, threatened and sensitive habitat, which is riparian habitat. Um, this habitat has also become very vulnerable um, to introduced species. So there are quite a few coastal management challenges, um, and those are just a few that come to mind in the immediate. Um, but I hope this video kind of provides a little bit more insight on how um, endangered species are a coastal management challenge. Thanks for stopping by and watching.